Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Android 800 Survival and as we can see right now we are looking at an attack by Miss Hunt it seems like it um, and she also has her first battleship. Some of you have already noticed this in the last episode and wrote it in the comments and yeah well it's yes, totally true. Are. This is a problem. Uh, right now, let's try to survive here, though. Um, so my yeah, my clipper it's a bit too late for that. Um, the other ships are redirected right away as soon as I saw that uh, there is an attack coming in. I just hope that my cannon towers can do the job here, right? Plus my warships that should be fine. Though the battleships are pretty pretty darn good. So in that case, we might face the loss of a few ships here let's just try and and do this here oh wait a second my clipper actually survived up to this point very good one ship down that should also go down i haven't lost the ship yet but we might lose this one here soon fill away under attack now the siege has started just look that there's no other ship coming in. Actually try to get those into the center there so they can fire from both sides. That might be important. <laughs> I don't think I've lost the ship yet. Did I? No, I don't think I've lost the ship so far. Another one down. They're focusing on the harbor defenses mostly here, and she's losing most of her ships now. Um, and now I think she is turning. Ah yeah, okay, there we lost one now. And I definitely want to take this one here with me still. Come on, take it down. Ah, there's a, a charter route. Another one down, perfect. Yeah, she lost uh, quite a few ships here now. And hopefully she's not trying that again. So soon. This one we can still take with us here. Come on. There you go. Very nice. Let's just have a look at the loot. I'm expecting, I'm hoping for something of value. That is not potatoes, please. Or soap. For that matter, there's a bit of schnapps that we just got. There's vitamin supplements. Oh, Penny Farthings, not bad. We're penny Farthings, that's yet. really not bad. And another hand green blown out. Nothing of high value though, unfortunately. All right, so far so good. Oh yeah, also, let's have a look at the shares there once again. Benta, Must be, you want purchase to that back. Um, she's not going to attack so soon again. Let's get those ships back home and let's reactivate my raid routes here. This one and where's my other one? This one we can activate once again and my bread i just remember there was two cargo ships but it seems to be fine now did we lose a cargo ship here no we did not so that should be fine all trade routes active again now battleships yes this is the the major problem that i'm facing now of course um that we need to solve here asap uh first of all is there a coucher coming in there's coucher coming in that means we should keep track of our bicycle factories now because we're going to ramp up the production here now soon and also we do have some penny file things here coming in that we can also get him perfect now about the advanced weapons right it's really expensive like this is not something i can so easily do i'm aiming for two of them though still so that's going to be quite nice um producing me two uh, tons per minute boosting that up to three tons that is my goal here um we do have the steel of course dynamite is the thing that we do need still um we do require engineer workforce I think we have to use this as an opportunity now to also start up some industry on other islands too, right? So Billowway is close by and I think Billowway is going to be my next industry island where we can outsource a bit of industry, but we will need the commute piers for that. This is, yeah, unfortunately the, the thing that, that will be very expensive for us because uh, commute piers, of course, do cost influence and that's something I, I can't spare so easily, especially since my... Uh, let's just see in my protected harbor just area. Constructed. It's really a mess here right now. I'm, I'm sorry for that, but there's no other way we can do this right now. I can try to squeeze it in here. Get rid of that road there. This should be possible. Come on. Not. There it is. Hmm. Let's have it here for the moment. 
that's number one and i will of course need some product uh some building materials for billowy to also get it cracking here i think the first set of commute peers this one here as well does not cost me any influence so that is that is fine uh, this is something we can absolutely do building materials are in let's build the commute pier and with that we have made the connection between billaway and vega and this is only the first step of course oh really leo you are excited <laughs> and of course we have this whole area here available for a nice juicy industry area uh we already have the breweries here the bakeries and we can then set up some more industry in this area of course i'm not going to get the advanced weapon production over here but we're going to move some existing productions that we have in vega Okay, so the first order of business is we found Chef Michel once more. So he was at Eli. Um, yeah, we are broke at this point. Uh, 70,000 is left, but that doesn't matter because we can finally use Chef Michel to get rid of all of the um, artisanal kitchens. So instead of the, the goulash, we just process pigs in the kit, uh, in the in the cannery, right? And the pigs, well, we have in Vigor anyway. So this is a no-brainer. I would just like to check how many pigs we have. We are capped on them. And my surplus production is only one. So there will be some adjustments here that we need to do. But we still have room for them. But this is where the where Billaway comes in place. Um, we have space in Billaway, right? And we got the workers. I would like to move over my pig production now. My soap, my sausage and my canned food production. Because all of that basically um, is wasting space in Vega. And also reducing attractiveness. So we want to we wanna get rid of those. Um, we just need to make sure that we get the right amount over. So this is going to be quite the endeavor here. Um, and before we really get this cracking, we should start with the dynamite production for the advanced weapons. Because this is, after all, the most urgent matter that we have right now. For the dynamite, let's just check it out. We do need beach area. Mm, we don't have that, right? So there is, there's really no beach area left here. Um, I will need to get rid of the fisheries. We can move the fish somewhere else, I think. So right now we are only having a consumption of 14. That's not a lot. That's seven fisheries that we would need to replace somewhere else. So those seven, for example, I think here in Billaway, we would have most of them already active. So there you go, right? Um, and then we, we're going to take another beach here quickly. Hmm. Yeah, this one is prone to attacks. All right, how much fish do we produce here now? 16, the surplus of 9. That's actually pretty close. Hmm. All right, but setting up like this works for us. Uh, we definitely will need another mark, a warehouse here now for that because there is, of course, a lot more cars coming in. And we could also say 20% boost. That should be really golden. And with that, we have everything. By the way, we don't need that one here and save some unhappiness. Even though people are happy despite the high workload. Um, and with that, we have the fish at least, right? There's going to be way more, of course. I will need some more cargo ships. Let's build two more. This is going to be important. And with that, we can get rid of those here for sure, right? And instead of that, we can now have our first call of action here. That is the Solpita Works. Um, I'm intending to go with two heavy weapon factories at this point. Um, for that, I will need two dynamite factories. And for that, I will need four Solpita works. Really expensive, if you count like that. One of them cost me 12,000. Um, yeah, it's going to be an expensive production. But it's going to be a, a production that's worth it. Let's just try to get them as close over here as possible. Then we have the warehouse. Let's upgrade this one. That's that. Then we need, as I said, two dynamite factories. Uh, they should definitely get boosted somehow. Right? And here comes now this area in effect once again. We have the electricity here. Um, if I want to make this work, um, I only need one. Right? So improved by electricity. So we can build, produce two of them per minute. Um, this is tricky because I want to move those canned food productions anyway. Let's just check it out. This will require space. Space is something we do need. Where is my Chef Michel? Uh, this one should be it. There it is. Let's get this trader back on track. And with that, I no longer need them. But of course, it is uh, bound for Billaway. Mm. Yeah, let's do this now. Let's do this now. There's no way. I mean, no, I need to get this somehow cracking before we move. Let's just have them over here for the moment. Really, just temporarily. But we have the production at least going on already then, right? Let's build... One of them, that's 54,000 for one dynamite factory, by the way. Crazy stuff. 
um, and that means two of these soul peter works that I will need to have. I'm going to need some more money, so we are going to sell some more weapons. Uh, we're going to sell uh, steam motors I will need soon. I can't sell them. Um, we could sell, we could sell, <laughs> we can't sell a whole lot. Uh, we can sell some antibiotics, some vaccines, um, and that's, I think, it. Light bulbs do sell nicely sometimes. That's it, yeah. Let's sell those at Eli. Not Chef Michel, of course. Uh, I might check if I have some good items somewhere available there to me. I don't. I don't. There's no there's no item here that I could use. So this is how we need to do it for now. Because I would like to set up that as quickly as possible now that we have done an advanced uh, weapon or heavy weapon factory. This, however, requires electricity from the start. So we need to get this one somewhere in here really quickly now. Uh, somewhere here, right? So there we have the light bulb factory. And there we got the weapon factory. I don't think that I need the weapon factories anymore. Let's get rid of one of them. Get us some space again. Your people are starting to get, get the sick. light bulb factory over here. Very good. Selling the goods gets, gives me a bit of money again, 100,000. And by the way, we should have... We have some loot here, none of that is really important, but the penny file things is. Um, I would like to build the penny file things here, the bicycle factory, but they cost 40,000 as well. But we can use those that we have right now to temporarily boost our tax income though, so let's do this. I think really there's no other good item here. Ah, they're all crap. Nothing here I can do would be worth it. Um, but at least with the penny file things, as we can see, the balance goes up a bit. And we're at 190,000 now. And with that, we can build that advanced weapon factory here with the 85,000. Let's do this. Not the final location, but yeah, it's going to be the final location for a long time. Because I don't need a second one so soon. At least this is now starting, right? While we work on the other industry things, this is now starting and ramping up. And we have a, a an advanced weapons production, basically. I could boost this one by 50%. There you go. To put its output up there and the dynamite factory will also need to get boosted here by 50% and the so peter works we could get up to 30 there easily very good that's that so this is now ramping up and working in the background so we can prepare the battleships now now it's time for the the industry moving that we wanted to do right we got chef michel that's great and then we have the pigs the soap factories uh, the sausage factories, we shouldn't have the highest demand for sausage anymore. It's at 11 only, right? So this is easy to move. The soap is only at 5. So there is some easy stuff that we can move around, um, not the highest volume. I think bricks will definitely need a lot. And some steel beams. And for the cannery, also some windows. There you go. Get this over. We'll have another cargo ship here. Let's get this back. I think we lost a ship somewhere. Not too long ago. There it is. The Couchup Trader is offline. Guinea Bear. Let's go for this. Make sure that the waypoints are set accordingly. Very important. Uh, let's also check the map quickly. Is there any attack coming in? No, not for the moment. We need to be very careful about this. I mean, look how dominating she is right now, Miss Hunt. She's everywhere. Mm, while we're here, let's also repair. Other than that, we should be golden with that. Yeah. The new world is fine for now. I don't need to worry about that. We need to worry about fleet management and industry. Alright. Second cargo ship gets Chef Michel over. And some more building materials while we have it. And by the way, we got lots of, of workers that definitely want to upgrade, right? We got lots of uh, resources for more investors. Let's go ahead. Here in the city center especially. Uh, there's a destructed house. There's some ruins. Here in the center, I would like to go ahead with more uh, so that we have lots of workers here. Very good. And here. We don't need that many workers anymore. Nor do we need that many farmers. We can also upgrade uh, lots of farmers. And then, of course, also artisans to engineers. And... Here we have the member club, so I should really push a few more investors in this area. 
Of course, it's merging all together at some point, but right now we need to be very selective. And then a few more here. Gives me lots of influence, of course, and also improves my balance. Metropolis city status has been reached as well. And with that, we could also start the first monuments. Ship constructed. This is looking great. And those are, uh, investors shouldn't be too unhappy. They got the members club after all, right? And that's that. And then, of course, we're going to have a whole second investor center coming up here, and it's merging together then somehow. This could stay engineer artisans because it's very close to the industry zone. It makes sense thematically speaking. Jeff Michel, um, yep, we still have some bricks. And some reinforced concrete we'll need, some windows we still need. And let's also get some steel beams over here. Fine, that, that's really it. I, I don't expect more. Uh, let's unload those goods. I think we'll also build another depot here. I should probably also upgrade my harbor here once more for another 100 tons of storage. Um, upgrading it here will cost me 150,000. <laughs> I'm not doing that so soon. Very good. The bricks we have. Now we just need the production. Yes, we have the building materials and immediately the plague comes back again, so I will probably need to get a hospital. We get the metropol a metropolitan hospital there, a modest building, a beautiful one. Um, not for now, though. For now, we need to waste some materials again on, under attack. on a hospital. Okay. That's just one frigate. How can that frigate be faster than my cargo ship? Oh, uh, the physics sometimes get me cracking. There it is, Chef Michel. Some building materials on top of that. Everything is prepared for the big moving. Um, Grain-wise, we will not need more. I still have room here with a trade union as well. So it's all about piggies, all right? We could save piggies all together with the Docklands, but um, we're pretty full already. Hmm, I, I do have another export office that I could get up here soon. That might be something. Sewing machines is full anyway. Hmm. We could get the piggies in with the sewing machines. It would complicate things though, because we would need to have a trade route to build away with the piggies. And piggies is really cheap. Let's just go ahead and build them. And save that slot for something else down the road. Um, right now I do have 26 pig farms, so we'll just need to get them over. There you go. Really, really easy. Set and done. Copy and pasting. Um, next up, we would need the sausage or the slaughterhouses. We have 15 right now. That's too much. No, it's, it should be fine. Let's make it make it 14 or something like that. There we got them. 16 by the, by the number. Perfect. Then we have the soap production. This needs the rendering works and the soap factory. Rendering works we still need. Probably going to keep at least two on Vega just uh, for the dynamite production, of course. That is something that um, is going to be very important. We need 10 of the rendering works and 4 of the soap factories. Uh, are we not having a massive surplus? No, here we don't. So 10 rendering works, 4 soap factories. And what sounds like a huge number is really just this tiny patch of industry that we also have now set up. With that, these things are golden. Um, we have a trade union already here. Um, blueprinted a trade union here. So we are going ahead and set up another trade union now somewhere in uh, this area. There you go. Oh, look at that. And this, of course, is for the canned food. Now, the canneries are going to be expensive. This is the, the main problem here, but it's going to be fine long-term-wise, and we save the space, which is even more important. So, right now, we do have off the canned food. Uh, we do have six on bigger. The thing is, we save a lot with the artisanal kitchen stove because we no longer require them with Chef Michel, right? So it's just the piggies and the iron ore. The cool thing also is iron ore we have in Bill Away, so I don't need to worry about anything at all other than getting the canneries over. Six we have right now. Bear in mind, though, we are boosting them, so I will probably need a bunch uh, more of them. Let's make it eight to really make, make this count. Um, that's six. And then a bunch more. We could actually go make the whole row here full. Um, and let's have another warehouse done somewhere here at Billaway. And we would have room for more industry then as well that we can set up here. And more canned food because, of course, the range is still there, right? So we can have two more here, two more here, uh, one more here, and one more here. If I like that. 
building six of them or upgrading them will cost me 75,000. So yeah, that's the investment cost that I will have to take, unfortunately. Build the trade union. Chef Michel is already here, so we can boost this now. Um, and then we just need the piggies. And this whole thing is going to cost me, but it's going to be fine, really. Um, we can sell a few more things. Do we have some advanced weapons already in? 11 tons! It is piling up. I do have also some steam motors. I might go ahead and actually boost my steam motor production. Because with that, we can get out more that I can sell. So let's sell at least 50 tons of that. Um, and then some more weapons that we can sell. Mm, and... Da, 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 I, I think we're golden. Yeah. We still have those crappy items there. Just pennies. But let's, let's go ahead and do this as well. And with that, let's go ahead. This is going to hurt me the most. Um, 112 tons of timber for all of my piggies. It's actually a bit more than that. And with that, we can also get rid of all of the piggies then here. Oh. Time the rigging. Clipper. Next up on the line would be my slaughterhouses. We have them set up here. Bear in mind though, um, we are also, of course, you needing or we also need um, sausage in Billaway, right? So two tons at the moment. This, of course, will will have to take into account here into my calculations. And that would be 10 that we have. And I think we have 15. Let's make it 17 to make this really full, right? There you go. 16, 17 make all of that very good this now should still give me a nice edge here yep still 10 for the rendering works and hmm, we still have the materials i might need to get some more timber over but that's fine then all right that's that next up on the line would be the rendering works all of them that's only five thousand. that's cheap um and let's make it five of the soap factories next production online as we can see my work account goes down now and only temporarily though because i'm going to get rid of all of this here now boy that's going to be a nice new city district that we can have or a bit more industry hmm all right this hurts a bit and harlow demands 55,000 payments oh. yeah we are also reducing our balance here that's because of course we have a double uh production Where right now um, since the workforce shortage is hurting my production, we can also go ahead already with deleting now all the pig farms. Um, this is going to have several effects. It reduces my workforce the requirement for farmers. It increases my attractiveness and it increases my balance again, of course. So let's go ahead and get all of this rid. Also the blueprinted ones that we had. Very good. Looking cleaner. We can do the same thing with the slaughterhouses already. Since we're full on, on, on sausage, um, it doesn't hurt me that much to get rid of them now. Um, I will also do the same thing for the rendering works, the soap factories, and goosh. With that, workforce stable again. Attractiveness skyrocketed to an ordinary metropolis that we are now. Um, and of course, my balance goes up again as well. With that, also my workforce here is stabilizing, of course, since it's shared. We do have some more building materials in. Um, so the sausage is working again the soap is working again the pig farms are working again can we care. boost them yeah, it would it would hurt us for cheap production i'm not doing this this is really hurting us even more here um, beer is in though so people are really happy right so, oof, still not looking great and then we have the cannery now we have chef michelle already this is for the pigs now bear in mind we have an increased pig consumption with that as well let's get us the first six going very expensive, but not so expensive, right? We're still sitting at a half a million here. That is fine. And with that, the can is going. We should have some iron ore here. This is now being used then for the cannery, but by far not enough as, as much as we produce, right? We have a production of 12, consumption of 4 with that. Still have 8 tons of iron per minute that gets over to Vega then as well. We can keep that intact. Pigs are being now consumed. This is something we need to check out. With that, we have a discrepancy of 3. So we'll need to get us a few more pig farms out after all. Let's just make a whole block of four again. Um, just for the heck of it. To ha so that we have a surplus. And let's just see. Yeah, I think this is good. Let's go ahead and build us that warehouse. We can also build another warehouse out here. And with that, we have then uh, this whole row completed. We still have some room left for a few more farms if I need that. But I doubt it. Um, that's fine. 
We have the cargo ship now. Yeah, we'll need two cargo routes here, I think. Do we? I don't think so, to be honest. Nope. Let's go ahead. Bill away to Vega. And we're going to say now, take, uh, take canned food. Sausage and soap. Uh, Dorothy, you can start in Vega for that. And let's also unload these things then in Vega. And with that, we have the trader up and running that is now distributing the goods. Um, we still have one more Cargo slot stations. buffer. And we'll just see how that turns out then, right? But with that, this whole area is now available. That's looking great. We can get rid of all of the roads here, apparently. Yeah, one road we need to keep. Otherwise, those have no connection with the harbor. Um, let's have this one active for now. We don't need those warehouses anymore. I'm going to keep those. And that's the space for more city development. Alright. One thing. And the other thing is... Yep. Let's get rid of the artisanal kitchens. That's going to be a real big deal here now. Right. Workforce wise and income wise. And let's get rid of the canneries. And once again... This is beautiful. <laughs> Saving us some money and workforce ultimately. We also, by the way, have now Kautschuk in. And we should have Steel in. Very good. So let's build two Penny Fall things. 84,000. 84,000. That's hurting us, but we have to build it. There you go. Being electrified then as well. And this will now bring in a permanent income with the Penny Fall things. Especially investors pay a lot for that. Ultimately, we can also go ahead and upgrade us a few more houses. That would be artisans. Boy, we have so many artisans. It's crazy that we let them sit, uh, sit there like that. Also here. Um, and here we have a few more workers that we can upgrade. And another bunch of artisans. And here also a few more investors. And a few more engineers. Right, this already drops me. Um, and then here we can also uh, upgrade a few more artisans. As much as I... I am allowed to. And yeah, well, with that, we are starting another upgrade spree, I should say, because we have a lot of pressure here to upgrade a lot of workers soon. Um, and then we just see how we continue onwards here. Yeah, well, probably with battleships. Stay tuned. The fire is out of control.